I'm Lisa Spencer. When it comes to charm and style, few cities can compete with New Orleans. Its uninhibited spirit and openness of its people are a trademark. Openness, however, leads to vulnerability. In this edition of our series, Hurricane Living on the Edge, the city meteorologists call the number one target for a killer hurricane, New Orleans. Laissez les bon temps rouler. It's the unofficial motto of Louisiana. It means let the good times roll, and they do, especially in New Orleans. But luck may be running out for the city of good times. Many storms have come close to New Orleans. Hurricane Betsy in 1965 passed just to the west of the city. 58 people died, most from floods. The key to understanding why this city is so vulnerable is knowing its topography. Most of New Orleans lies about five to six feet below sea level and is surrounded by water. There's the Gulf of Mexico to the south, Lake Pontchartrain to the north, and the Mississippi River cuts through the center of town. One possible storm scenario is that a hurricane could approach the city with winds out of the north. That could potentially push water from Lake Pontchartrain over the levee and into the city. New Orleans is saucer-shaped. There is no natural way for water to drain. It has to be pumped out. The pumping stations can clear about an inch of water an hour from the streets. But if the storm is a strong category four or five on the Saffir-Simpson scale, New Orleans could be inundated. If the water comes over the levees, then it essentially turns the city into a lake that's at least 19 feet deep, 19 feet above sea level deep and with the below sea level areas, there would be places that would be 25 and 30 feet deep. That much water in the streets would disable the pumps. So what happens to those who can't evacuate or choose to stay and ride out the storm? The person that stays is gonna get trapped. They may survive, but if they're in a building or in their home or on a roof, it's gonna take days and possibly weeks before someone can get to them and get them needed supplies. And that's no place to be if you've got a choice. Hurricane Betsy taught New Orleans a lesson. That is, be prepared. Don't wait until the last minute to evacuate. Heed the warning. It's a lesson that, as of yet, has not been put to the test. Join us next time for a look at other major cities long overdue for a hurricane and the possible consequences. Until then, tune to the Tropical Update here on the Weather Channel at 47 minutes after every hour.